so hi guys uh, welcome to my youtube channel uh, on this video i'm going to show you how to create a clickworker.com uh, account and starting working in usrf uh, here are some of the few things that i'm going to discuss on this video uh, number one is what is clickworker and what type of job do they offer plus what are the requirements needed to become a clickworker and uh, number two i'm going to take you through the signing up process and completing your profile uh, number three, I will give you a quick introduction to what UHRS is and we are going to do the UHRS assessment. And we are also going to create a UHRS live ID that will be using to get access to UHRS tax. And I'm also going to give you a small introduction to how UHRS works, how you can maybe judge some of the hitups or jobs that are in the UHRS. Uh, no number six, I'm going to tell you the rules that you are supposed to follow as a click worker to make sure your account is safe and you don't get banned anytime so let's get started a click worker is a platform that provides digital tasks to registered internet workers whom they call click workers uh, click workers are freelancers who utilize click work workplace where they earn money working completely independently on their own schedule from any personal computer with internet access. Uh, click workers are required to register prior starting his or her work. Uh, this one means to getting started to working on click worker you need to have a to have an account. And also they say all data is treated as of confidential and is used only for communications, assessments and payments. Uh, Clickworker offers an ideal opportunity to earn money in addition to employment or self-employment. So uh, you can use this site as a as your maybe side hustle to make money. Uh, and also there is this one that please note that working as a Clickworker is no substitute to full-time employment. Both the project offer and the monthly income can vary greatly and and cannot be guaranteed so you find that you can find like this month there were maybe the number of jobs that were available on clickworker were maybe low and you can also find uh maybe in the next month there will be many projects so they are saying the amount of money you can earn can can vary according to the number of jobs that they have in their workplace uh, also let's see each clickworker chooses from the pool of available projects which tasks he or she wants to take on the tasks available may vary from click worker to click worker based on qualification assessments previous work assessments education language abilities and interest depending on your total profile and qualifications you may be offered some projects or may be excluded from others payment is made for each accepted and completed task the amount is fixed and published ahead of this time. Uh, the click worker tasks are smaller and can be done separately. Uh, we refer to this as micro jobs. This offers maximum flexibility to you. Each click worker decides when, where, and how much he or she works. Uh, standard payment method is Pioneer. Uh, it is offered to almost all countries that are open for registration. You can also check if Clickworker offers PayPal payments for your country. Uh, direct payment to your bank account is only available in countries that are part of SEPA, single euro payment area. Uh, there are two ways you can sign up to Clickworker. Uh, one is by using a Clickworker app, which is available for both Android and iOS.
Uh, you can also sign up through your web browser on your computer, laptop, or smartphone. On this video, we are going to focus on creating a, your account on web browser. Uh, go to any web browser, whether it's Google, uh, Microsoft, Bing, uh, Firefox, and search for ClickWorker. And you click the link, the first link, the www.clickworker.com. Uh, that's the link. Uh, then go to register. You can see there are two options for customers and for click workers. So here you're going to choose the this option for click workers. For customers, uh, those are people who want to employ, who, who maybe want to have, have a project that they want to get workers from click worker. Uh, so we are going to use this option for click workers. So now this is where you fill in your details. Uh, first, you select your gender, uh, whether you are male, female, or maybe other. Uh, for now, I'm going to go with female. Uh, what's the title that you may prefer to be called? Uh, I'm going to use this one. Uh, your first name. Uh, last name and username you can select your uh, username here yeah, I will use this, this username now this is where you use your gmail uh, your gmail.com so you need to have a, a gmail account for you to create account on ClickWorker, so make sure you have created a Gmail account that you use right here to create your account. And then you select a password. Uh, I think the password should have eight characters. This way you mix, uh, should have uh, capital letters, small letters, maybe numbers, or uh, something like that. So let me show you an example of a password that you can use. You can say maybe, let's see. Maybe. Yeah, you can use something like that but for me I'm going to use something different though, though the password will, will just be like that I'm going to copy and paste it right here and then continue now you fill in your date of birth select you can you click the icon the calendar the calendar icon start choosing the year which you were born you know, for me it's for January 26 uh, here's the country you, you need to if you are maybe living in the United States maybe you're living in the United Kingdom or with whichever country you are make sure you fill in cor correctly the uh, the country which you are from, uh, the native la language. This is the language that you speak. But if you speak English and you want to perform the English language, make sure you use English United States. That's the one that I use for me. You can also use English UK. Though for me, I prefer English US. But I think you can add two. So let me use English UK and English United States. Now, this is where you fill in your address. Uh, or address, if you're not sure of maybe the zip code of where you live, you can al always Google, like I can maybe Google what the zip code of the country which I live in. One hundred. The city is Nairobi. Then your phone number. And then you select on um, legal of age. I have read and, and accept the terms and conditions. I have read the data protection. Uh, if you want to go through this this agreement, you can just click them and you know 
you get to really understand how the platform works. that I need the ClickWorker app installed on my mobile to access the to access my account. Okay. Finish and send. Then you please check your email to activate your account. Yep. So when you go to your Gmail and refresh you can see the email to activate your account. Click on the email and uh, in the email you'll see the details to your login your email and your user id and then the link to activate your account so i'm going to click the link uh, welcome to before you start your first job on click account this is some information you have to add your full address enter your payment and tax de details so we can pay you fill out your click account profile this is Click on any contact details and your address here. Please also include your phone number and yeah, verify it. And if this option is available for your country, next step enter your payment and tax details so that we can pay you. Next, also the previous step you said like you can use Pioneer. And if you use Pioneer, we recommend using Pioneer. For this method, the payment is done weekly from a minimum amount of 5 euros. Please note that you have to connect your Pioneer account. Please note that you have to connect your Pioneer account to ours. To do this, please click the link that becomes visible in the next step and then log in to your Pioneer account or create a new one. For PayPal, uh, users who are paid out of their PayPal into bracket weekly we receive their payment amount from 10 euros add your paper address please note that your registered paper address must be verified in the next step for this will be directly forwarded to paper so for you to use your paper your paper should be verified uh, this way you verify by linking it with the bank credit card uh, that's how you verify your paper i'll make a video to show you how to verify your paypal account and also how to create a pioneer account but if you have you have you have pioneer paper you can use one of them and paper uh, remember it must be verified for for it to be accepted now fill out your click profile uh, so here are some of the some few things that would uh, like like for you guys to note so click offers offers you the perfect selection of jobs and assessments based on your profile skills and qualifications so maybe if you selected maybe for me i use the uh, english united states so the type of job that i'm going to find on the marketplace or the workplace are uh, jobs relating to that language if maybe you use spanish uh, uh, yeah, you can see in the, this example this means that for example you will only be offered Spanish assessment if you have said that you are proficient in Spanish the same applies to other languages if details about languages or fields of knowledge are missing in your profile you may not be able to take any or not all of the assessments available and will therefore be of, and you will therefore be offered fewer jobs please note Providing false information to gain access to more projects does neither benefit you nor ClickWorker or their clients. Since Cl ClickWorker runs quality check, it will cause your work to be rejected and in the worst co in the worst case, cause your account to be suspended from their platform. So please stay fair. Um, I wanted to check my profile. So, 
so you when you click your profile you can see your profile and uh, this way you, you can fill details about you you can also uh, fill details about languages skills uh, the skills that you can do uh, hobbies and know-how you can fill the languages part please select mother language as I said I'm going to use English United States and I want to perform that uh, work uh, under that language so if you know maybe French you can add that language right here maybe you know German the uh, Chinese who made this my mother language so this is the one that I'm going to save uh, you can also if you need to make mm -hmm. I think you can also select another language. You can also say English United Kingdom. Mm. I don't know if you can have to mother tongue. This is for language only in variety. Oh. So you can't have to mother tongue. So you have you, ha you only need to have one mother tongue. So I'll use this as read writing. This is the language only one region. Oh. So for that category, maybe I can. I don't think I have any other language that I may choose from this list. So le let me just use that one. Uh, skills. You can you can select the skills that you are good in. I can say I can do er erotic. I can do this. Oh, so as I'm filling in, the, you can see the profile. Look, uh, I just download this. Translation, this I can maybe translate from English, United Kingdom, to maybe which other language do I seem to know? Uh, to maybe Swahili, I can also maybe translate from Swahili to English, Swahili to English, United Kingdom, or English, United States. So profile is what we need to get uh, eighty percent in our profile. So you can add some hobbies and uh, sports. You can say I uh, play ball games, uh, football. Okay, let me go with football. You can go with the handball. You can go with the hockey. And let me go with that lifestyle. I can go with health and beauty, uh, diets, uh, wellness. What else? Engineering, I can go with. Uh, I love IT. Uh, I don't know any other thing. Events, uh, concerts, uh, sport events, consumer electronics, and say uh, the communication. So our profile is at 60 right now. Computer and internet, I can say computer video games, software, uh, programming, consumer electronics, maybe mobile phones, science and research. So you, you need to maybe choose some of these for you, for you to fill in your profile. Uh, here we choose for these ones. Media, I can choose. Maybe movies, uh, pets, gardening. No profile set sixty. Uh, I think I need to now. I need to. <laughs> I need to fill in the about me section for my profile to get to eighty percent. Maybe uh, you can say.
you can see my now my profile is 75 done the highest degree uh, yeah, it's bachelor's degree computer science second first class hmm. now I think our profile is good uh, when it's 80 percent now it's good let's uh, let's first of all click on jobs to explore how the click worker marketplace looks like and now you can see uh, these are the available jobs that i have for now but the these jobs will depend on the location so for you to uh to apply for uhrs you can see right here under assessment there's this notification saying we have one assessment that we need to we need to uh, complete uh, this is the asset assessment that we will be using for UHRS uh, based assessments they are counting on new based assessments we did not complete any assessment but you can see here to qualify for special projects on UHRS basic English skills required uh, so let's click on qualify welcome to the by clicking the assessment you can get access to many additional click worker projects on our partner website UHRS we encourage you to qualify in order to fully maximize your work options here on click worker but guys before we before we even start to qualify I don't know if we should add the payment details right now or I think we should uh, we will add later after finishing the assessments so after reading right here and understanding you can say did you read the instruction yes so and then you'll they'll give you some basic English skills <laughs> uh, assessments where you will have to fill in some maybe grammar grammar test like number one Peter dash not French uh, Peter is not French so if you're not good with English let me close this one uh, you, you can I think you can search these questions on Google and you'll see um, so yeah the answer is is Peter is not French So we very well this is correct peter is not french uh, so guys in in order in order for you uh in order to qualify for uhrs you need to successfully complete the uhrs assessment uh, so you saw after we click the assessment in the menu workplace or also in the click worker app <coughs> the uhrs uh, assessment should be listed in the available assessment section if you haven't completed it already uh, here we are supposed to reach at least 80 percent in order to gain access to UHRS so make sure the test when you can so make sure you complete the test when you can fully concentrate on the task as you cannot repeat it so if you fail this test if you know if you do not get the get I think 80 percent you won't get the assessment again and you won't be able to get the UHRS so you need to be serious you know when doing it and the assessment contains two sections the first test the first section will test your knowledge in English with simple questions you need to pass this part and uh, yeah, we have said with 80 percent in order to be forwarded to the second part the second part then gives you a short introduction to UHRS and helps you set up your account so this second part is after you have uh, you have finished the first part and you have uh, you have gotten a minimum of 80 percent score yep. so after that now, that now we can go to getting each other so let's first finish the assessment yep. so Peter, that that was the answer let's go to the next question welcome start off mm -hmm. Uh, your answer will be rated P 
please select the answer that correctly fills the gap. What times are we dash grad mass house tomorrow? Now he is going to what times what time are we going to grad mass house tomorrow? We can't we can't say going for we can't say going. We can't say to go. We need to say going to this is the correct answer. Mm. The car is dash the mine. Still expensive. This one is not good. The car is expensive than mine. No. The car is expensive. No, no, that's not correct. I would say the car is more expensive than mine. Uh, if you are not sure, please remember you can search. Uh, answer is more ex expensive. You can see they told us the answer is more expensive. the next question is the person that lives next door is on holiday the person where not not correct the person which no no we can't say which the person who yeah that's correct um, the person who no that's not correct so the person who he drives a black car do he won't he? Will he? Doesn't he? I think this one sounds correct. But let's Google to make sure. It doesn't. Yeah, doesn't is the right. So here you use doesn't. So the next part. Uh, where is the post office? It is dash there. From there, over. Yep. Over is the correct, over there, by there, not correct, at there, not correct, so over is the correct answer. I hope it does rain tomorrow. I hope it doesn't rain tomorrow. Yeah, that, that might be correct. I hope it not, not correct. I hope it, it don't rain tomorrow. Uh, I hope. Why? I think it doesn't is the right answer. But let's check to be sure. I hope it doesn't. Uh, answer this simple text. I hope it doesn't. Yeah, doesn't is the answer. Let's go to the next question. So here we have a number of twenty-five questions. We have completed eight so far. The singer was popular because he knew dash the crowd. He knew how to entertain. How to entertain is not good. How to entertain is the right. Not how to know. how to entertain the crowd. That is the right answer. Please select the answer that correctly. Uh -huh. He did his job dash, but also very. No, he did his job very fast. Fast is not good, not good, very fast, and but also very efficiently. I think number three should be the right answer. Fast, efficiently, yeah, that's the answer. Um, I will mow the lawn, but only if I haven't to, not good. I must to not go. I had to. This is not even good. I have to only if I have to. Yeah, I have to is the correct answer. Uh, you shouldn't open the wind. You should. You should. Shouldn't open the wind. Dash. You have to. You shouldn't open the wind. For you have to not go. Why you have to? Unless you have to. Either not good. So unless you have to. Uh -huh. Please select. Uh -huh. I love chips. So do me. I do so. I too. So do I. So so do I is the right. Because you can't say so do me. You can't say I do so. You can't say I too. So so do I. That's the right answer. Uh, welcome. Okay. He dashed Germany last year. He will move. Not good. He moves. Not good. He moved. To Germany, yeah. 
he moved to Germany. So he moved to Germany last year. So please select the answer that correctly fills the gap. She was grateful dash the gift. She was grateful of the gift to the gift for the gift on the gift. Uh, yeah, she was grateful for the gift I gave her. I, yeah, it's for for the gift. I would travel more if it wasn't so expensive. Yeah, this one is right. It wasn't so expensive. It isn't. Didn't. Doesn't. It wasn't so expensive is the right answer. It's good. Dash. It's good, comma. But I am not satisfied. It's good, but I am not relatively satisfied. Understandably. Completely satisfied, but I'm not completely satisfied. Let's Google this one. No, no, you're even using Microsoft Bing. Answer: It's completely satisfied. Well, uh, I dash. That is a good idea. I don't think that is a good idea. Well, don't. Yeah, don't. Don't, don't think that's a good idea. I have met a lot of musicians uh -huh, of whom who are very talented. I have met a lot of musicians only of whom they were talented, much of whom, more of whom, many of whom were very talented. So the last option is the right answer. Many of whom were very talented. So it is important that you dash attention during class, otherwise you won't learn anything. You pay. Yeah, this is very correct. You, you say you pay attention. So that's the right. It has been a dash bad year for rain. It has been a opti optimistically bad year, formatively locally. This one I'm not sure. So let me search and see. Uh, Explanatory, particularly, I hope it helps. Particularly, it has been a particularly bad year for rain. Let's let's see what. I need to be sure about that. It has been a particularly bad year. Second, mm -hmm. let us understand the adoption of local adoption. The first word given to us formatively is the actual word given. In the second, it's used wrong answer. So they're saying optimist day. It has been a particularly bad year. Now let's go with that. Make sure that this information is kept strict, strictly confidential. Confidence code. Confident, confide, confidential. The job sounds fantastic, and I am dashed to get started. I'm eager to get started. So eager should be the right answer, but let me confirm. Yeah, but I'm eager to get started. Yeah, so this is the next part of the video. Uh, I hope you are able to reach to this point now this is where now we will start creating our live id so i hope you are you are able to finish the assessment part so that that was the first part now this is the second part um this is the second part of the uhrs assessment and this is where you you know like when you are done with the first assessment the language test uh, part now this is where they you are welcome to the UHRS. Uh, they explain to you what UHRS is, and you, you can see it's UHRS is a partner website that can be accessed via clickworker.com and provides you with additional jobs available available tasks range from comparison or categorization of internet data and web pages to voice recordings or checking texts for specific content. The UHRS stands for Universal Human Relevance System. 
so I believe uh, this part you need to really understand well because uh, this this is how UHRS work so you need to read this part very well uh, in order to get access to UHRS you need to successfully complete both UHRS assessment parts so let, let's read it on lesson one the UHRS platform is op optimized for edge slash internet explorer only you can still use your favorite browser but keep in mind in keep in mind that you may experience technical issues when working on UHRS with a different browser than edge or internet explorer so this means that they say they they have op optimized UHRS to work on edge explorer so you can still use chrome firefox but they're, they're saying maybe you might face some technical difficulties when using it on Chrome or maybe Firefox because it's not optimized to work to work for Chrome. But people still use it. I also use I also work using Chrome and also sometimes I use Firefox and other browsers. But mostly Edge is the browser that I also recommend you to use if you are maybe on PC or you're using a laptop. So lesson two. To be able to log into UHRS, you first need to create an account on live.com. This is not done automatically. You need to register a new live ID on live.com manually. During the next step of this assess assessment, this live ID will then serve you as username on UHRS. You can either use an already existing private live ID, nor can you now can you just register with the random email address it needs to be a particular format starting with cw underscore one one eight okay so here here is another thing that you guys need to know so you uh to the in the next step they'll give you an email uh actually not an email a live id that will be starting with cw and then your your click id this one is my click id you can see here so you will you will copy this one maybe at outlook or maybe at hotmail.com and use it to create a new live id i will guide you guys so don't don't think you can go and create maybe another live ID using a different name and use it as your uhrs but you need to use this one that click has given it to you so let's move on which will be further explained to you in the following page this is the only ID that's going to work in connecting with your Twitter account. So they ask which level ID serve, serves as your UHRS login. Any email address will do now. In my private email address now. A particular email address given to you starting with CW. Yeah, that's correct. Let's go to lesson three. The amount and on UHRS will be transferred to your Twitter balance once a week but it takes that nine days for them to become payable so maybe if you work if you work maybe for this week the the money will be transferred i think it's on monday for the other week it will be transferred in the next month but for the money to become payable it takes 39 days for it to be sent maybe to paypal to your pioneer maybe to your bank yeah so they after how many days will uhrs earning become payable that nine days and lesson four you'll be granted access to uhrs platform directly after you've completed this assessment the project will appear on your workplace as uhrs in the task you will see the direct link to uhrs signing page click on it manually log into uhrs website using newly registered live id and password so they're saying maybe after you've, you've finished maybe creating the live id when you are on click on home page you'll see a link or about uhrs job and you click there they would redirect you to the uhrs page where you, you will, will use the live id that we will create now this live id to log in manually to the uhrs page so uh, no, you won't be automatically but you'll have to log into uhrs manually uh, lesson five on the uhrs dash dashboard you'll see the menu items marketplace so marketplace is where you you will find the jobs uh, that are available my report is where you see the payments and there's also i think another tab called settings to see all available jobs click on marketplace 
running setting is currently not used and cannot be changed yeah so what where can you find uh, available jobs in the marketplace to start a job to start a job by clicking uh, you start a job by clicking start judging uh, you can preview a job maybe by clicking preview and you can see job instruction by clicking view guideline so when we get to the uh, uhrs workplace if you see a, if you find a job and if you want to start judging the job maybe you want to start doing the job and get paid you have to click start judging uh, preview is like you know seeing the job getting to know how it looks so what is it about and then view guideline is a it's like a pdf or a guide that explains to you everything about the project maybe how you are supposed to judge and the type of uh, results that are expected uh, you can see the job description by clicking view guideline lesson 7 access to uhrs is not permanent if you log in use, using the uhrs trust on your click workplace you will start an internal account now no 8 hours after which the access will be blocked again to regain access to uhrs for another data was simp- simply restart the uhrs trust and repeat the the process so they say maybe when you are in the click worker home page and then you click uh, to start working on the uhrs job there there will be a, an 8 hour countdown that will be that will start maybe counting from 8 hours going down so when the countdown go, goes to maybe zero you'll have to refresh that page Uh, for the countdown to start running again then log into uhrs again so it's eight hours uh, all information on uhrs is strictly confidential uh, this includes gen- this includes general platform information as well as details about individual hitups quality management measures etc any authorized use copying disclosure or online dis- distribution of material information without the prior written consent is forbidden are you allowed to openly publish any information on oh, in general no i can no all the information in uhrs it's strictly confidential that's what they say right you are not supposed to disclose maybe share a screenshot of a job you are doing online that's not allowed no people still do it but if they maybe find you doing that uh i think you be you get blocked so ab- about this last part uh i think i forgot to record I just real i just recorded the audio only <laughs> so i'm going to explain what you're supposed to do yeah, you are supposed to follow this step from step 1 then you go to step 2 then you go to step 3 step 4 step 5 step 6 don't skip don't maybe go to step 1 then go to step 3 <coughs> so you should start from step 1 and this step 1 is to make sure check and confirm that you have not signed in to any Microsoft live ID in the browser you're using and if you find that you have signed in to maybe one of your live IDs make sure you sign out because <coughs> you are not supposed to be to have been signed into one the live ID because it will interfere with the the new one that you create for click worker <coughs> so use this link to go and confirm and if you have uh, if you have an uh, existing live ID you log out then step 2 step 2 they give you these two live IDs and you have to choose one of them which you would love uh which be your your live id there's this one for hotmail.com and outlook.com and as you can see this this numbers represent your click work id so i think you should write it somewhere for you maybe keep remembering so you so you you choose between these two and you use one of these create your account uh, then you after you've copied maybe after you've selected the one you want to use then you go to step 3 step 3 they say the link below will lead you 
to the login page of live.com it includes a tracking code which is required for the connection between clickworker and live.com therefore do not access live.com in any other way so yes i was saying uh just just uh, click this link on this browser don't maybe copy this link maybe go and use it in another browser maybe chrome maybe uh, firefox just do all these things in the same browser because when you click this link uh you, you go to create uh create a new live id well you, you will use this as a uh, live id and then you select a password that you want uh uh and after that i think uh, you you find a notification you work asking you to give them access then you select yes give them access and then after that uh, it will direct you back to this page you continue with the step four where they are going to tell you on the login page click on create free account yeah that's what what we'll do at step three don't sign in with the with this email because this email doesn't have an account yet you're supposed to use it to create uh, your account so that's what the step four wants you to do and then step five after registration a message will appear asking for the click over to get permission then yes we have given it the permission then step six enter your live id twice in the two empty fields and finish the assessment by clicking save so from these two live ids the one that you have used to create your live uh, account just come just copy it or and paste it right here and then click save and uh, after clicking save uh, i think will be uh, for saving now you'll be accepted and now you can send into your uhrs by going to job and after job you can click this button right here you see do i have to go here you see here i skipped it on the check out our hash one project uhrs then after that i think for you they'll ask you to maybe accept and sign an nda uh, you'll accept for me i forgot to record this so whether i didn't uh, you, uh you, you, you didn't see that page so this is the button when you click this one to log you uh, log you into your uhrs account which looks like this you can see the market market list the the market is that we said where you can find a list of all the jobs and also the report where you uh where the money where you, when you when you have worked on this project the money that you make will be will be saved on your report and at the end of every week this money will be transferred right here to the clickworker balance and after that nine days the money will become payable and it will be sent to your preferred payment option whether it's pioneer whether it's paypal and that's how tikoka works and guys maybe i think that's all what this video was all about so from the next videos i'll maybe show you how to qualify for this task and yeah i will share qualification video and if you have any problem just make sure you comment down below i will answer to every comment thank you for watching and i think i've forgotten guys please when you're clicking a click work account don't create multiple accounts or maybe don't use uh don't give someone your payment details maybe pioneer or paper for them to use your account if you do that and click workers and click worker notice that someone else is using your details or maybe using your names both of your accounts will get banned you won't be able to create another account in the future So that's it guys i hope this video was of help to you and if it was of help make sure you like subscribe you can also share for future updates thank you